It's been a minute. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been about, I feel like it's been like almost a month that I recorded. I think the last thing I did was um, the True Heart Air Ride Suspension. Yeah, I think it was a True Heart Air Ride Suspension. Um, ever since then, I haven't really messed with the car at all, to be honest. Like, I think I haven't been in the mood to really wrench on it. But the only thing I have put on it, like it was like right after that, I didn't feel like recording was the uh, lip. It was off of Volvo I had ordered. I could probably put the link down in the description below, but yeah, um, it was one I ordered. It didn't fit, so I did have to cut the edges of it and the center, it was too short. It's meant for a 91 slash EF9 front bumpers, basically 91s. So I just cut it and then just put some zip ties in the middle. And yeah, I mean, it lines up center, so I mean, it's not horrible. And it looks good. Once it's like fully aired out, it actually sits good. So I mean, first of all, we'll do the view with the bags are good. But in this video, if the thumbnail doesn't say it, we're doing two things. I've had these pieces of side skirts for the longest. They're basically like brand new. They're just stupid dirty. Um, basically, to install this isn't hard at all. A lot of people are going to tell me I should have got EK side skirts. Eh. I like these. Yeah, these are more of like a track look, whatever, but my preference. Package right here, three holes for the chassis, one for the side skirt, that's a Allen key, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Sits back there. I still need one. Once you side? tighten it, yeah. And then once you tighten it, or like, you know, put it to where you want it, you line the side skirt to the edge of the actual car. You see where it fits the best, where you want it more in, more out, or well, like this basically, more in, more out, and then it should line up from fender to the rear of the quarter panel, like flush, like perfect. As you can see right here, like I said, I used to have accessories on this car, but I took everything off when I did the swap. So I already had pre-existing holes, just like that. Um, so I did have to give him bigger screws because when I put them on, I took them off, obviously it just started the chassis. So I just got some pretty fat motherfucking screws but yeah but yeah we're just gonna install a set switch real quick like i said it's not a really good tutorial just literally mount them up line them up and use like a little marker in the back side and yeah just throw them on because we're gonna throw the set screws on see how it looks with them and then do uh install well, not install but a review on the 1320 headers i installed a while back like i think it was on fourth of july actually i did them now that i remember it yeah fourth of july I can say there's some pros and some cons, like every other mod out there. So, yeah, there are some people saying that I know I was gonna, you know, lose some power or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but you know, I'll be give, sure to get some better sound clips of it and just give my overall review. As far as how it's dirty too, because it rain. I don't even know how it rained today, which is kind of retarded. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that side skirt on that side. See how the car look. Ooh, damn. Hopping, yo. But yeah, I'm going to throw that side skirt on real quick while my brother finishes up that side and get a quick look at it. Alright, they're hella dirty, but just like that, they're on. Not shabby, just, you know, simple side skirt. And luckily, too, with these, um, I put some little dress up hardware, some polished ones, nothing crazy. Um, they're 10 mils, or like not 10 mil, but like a Pitch straight up a Honda, Honda 10 millimeter bolt. So if you guys do get side skirts and you know, you have, I don't know, some downstar hardware or something like that, uh, you can't do it. They do come with like little plastic washers that go over it, which are fine too, but you know, oh. I want preference. You good over there, son? But yeah, that side skirt is basically on. Like I said, just thread them on. And that looks decent. Good enough for me. So I'll go ahead and throw the next side on. And basically be doing the side skirt install. Oh, fuck, bro. Son is not easy with one hand. Yeah, no, I'm not easy with one hand. Fuck that. And just like that, side skirt's on. I'll do it for my phone. Close the door. Fuck the speedos, bro. See how it looks there now. What's it says? Yeah, so that's how close the front lips is. That's where I'm fucking going. Two finger high, yo. Oh, touch 
sundown and i have my brother drive it just so you could do like a couple um, sound clips of it if you guys like it and then show you guys uh actual headers again so i could talk about some pros and some cons about it but yeah i'm just having this quick life i just hope we don't get in trouble i'm not gonna do pulls or nothing but you know just get some good sound clips headers on the car one pro my opinion a lot of people remember like that's effing retarded i like how they sound personally i really like to do yeah it sounds like a subi but i mean that's kind of the whole point of the headers unequal length you know what i mean and yeah it just gives the car a different tone people will trip the fuck out and hear they're like that does not sound like a fucking honda because it does not not that it's dope about it you know like shit so that's appropriate um another thing too is it cleared up a lot of room for my headers in the front so like my radio and all that my temps have gotten a lot cooler because of that because the ramble head of the head was just super close the first time i had other ones so that's another pro to it um it's still 1320 so it's not like a cheap brand or anything to me at least and you know it's good it has the v-band it fit nicely and everything now for the cons what everybody wants to know the bad stuff it's never the good stuff the name is 1320 performance but these headers do not give that and i'm pretty sure a couple people already knew that from the end of these headers they do not get performance they actually take away from it hear me out the last headers i had on this car the ram horn they flowed amazing they were great i felt good power with the car i mean it's stock v20 all it has is um, RSX Type S injectors, 70 mil throttle body, like a Type R rep manifold for the B20. It's on the uh, has LSD aftermarket LSD with the B16 transmission, fully rebuilt. Um, I'll get more into like that main detail later, probably like the whole rundown of the build. But that's just some of what's done with the motor wise. And yeah, it has a well picked penis intake, um, full exhaust, no cats. It has a vibrant resonator with the K2 muffler, two and a half inch all the way back, D-banded. So you know it has a good tone to it and everything but with these headers guys i will admit i lost torque i don't know about like actual power or if that's with power i'm not sure but i did indeed lose torque i know because of my other headers i just felt response you know like I, I would like not that i don't feel response with these but like i felt more response like i would be able to like floor and i feel like a good pull like it would squeak like it would chirp and everything like you know all, all the good stuff but when I threw these headers on, in the beginning I couldn't really tell till like I started driving it more and more, and then like it would give other people rides in the car, and they'd be like, "Yeah, dude, that it, like it has power, but it lost the torque. It doesn't feel as like just chip, you know. It doesn't feel like just like kick to it no more. So yeah, that would say my opinion. Just like 
the only con in my opinion um i can't think of really anything else to be honest um i mean if you don't like a subaru noise then fuck i guess that's a con too because it sounds like a subi but other than that i mean that's the only thing i can think of to be honest about a con at the moment yeah i'm hoping that would maybe answer a lot of people's questions but i mean overall this is not a street car or a track car i mean yeah a couple people will tease me here and there and i'll give them a little pull but i mean if i lose i lose i mean at the end of the day it's still haunted guys unless it's like fully built freaking you know boost and all that shit then that's different but i didn't build the car to be fast i just built it to have more power than a single cam with a you know good transmission and we'll just just enjoy the car just more for looks i do plan on doing a different swap with the VTEC pretty soon not soon but you know in the near future but i'm not really building the car for speed i'm just trying to build it just for reliability with a little oomph in it obviously the headers took some of them but i'm not really worried about it the car looks good in my opinion but yeah that's my honest opinion with the headers those are my pros and cons i can't think of another con or any more pros I and mean, it's not a lot that can be said about some headers but that's my overall review of it I've driving for like about a month ever since i put them on 4th of july so like yeah just about a month honestly not a little bit longer than that so yeah but other than that i mean the side screens on today i like how they look someone's not gonna like them it is what it is can't please everybody but hey the car is basically almost done i would say i just need a small little touch-ups i still need to put the pillars back on stuff like that but overall i mean it's good the air ride's been amazing car hasn't given too much problems just a little bit had a wheel bearing blow up for the picture of that how the fuck that happened what the fuck bro done fucked up my rotor fuck bro what the fuck this shit literally just fell right out, man. Jesus fuck. Yup, done for. Bro, what? With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video out here. If you guys liked or enjoyed or like how the car came out, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.